Ever since we were little, we get used to following celebrities, and many of them have become our role models. In many cases, not even real celebs, but their characters, like heroes in action, fantasy, or horror movies and series. For girls, it's common they can find inspiration in models, singers, and actresses as well. We all know a girl that dreamed to become the next star on the screen. As we grow, our goals and dreams grow up too. Dreams become a purpose, our inspiration to move forward and grow. Fantasy and reality separate from each other, but the drive we need to achieve our goals keeps surging in our imaginations. Dreams keep changing and evolving. At first, most of us lean towards most conventional roles. Cops, astronauts, and firemen were tradition dream jobs among boys, while dancers, actresses, and models were more popular amongst the girls. We know we're entitled to nothing, as Frank Underwood said. On the contrary, it doesn't matter if you're a girl or a boy, you can choose an unconventional career path. Just like women in the fitness world who took their careers far enough to be considered unique. Fitness is a hobby for millions. Most people quit. It's hard to do countless hours in the gym working out surrounded by weird looking equipment. However, the worst part for most of us is to follow a strict diet and rigid schedules. It requires passion to deal with all of that. On the other side, probably most of us feel frightened and overwhelmed by walking into a gym. Even by watching professionals working out, we ask ourselves, how are they even real? How can they do that? Even if we follow all the instructions, it's hard to grasp, and it takes years to achieve what professional bodybuilders and fitness pros can do. As women don't have the level of anabolic hormones that men do, most of the time, growing muscles can be more challenging. Women bodybuilders need more dedication and hard work to get the same results, most of the time. For our next 10 women, it has also brought fame, money, and trouble. You'll see that not everything is fake tan, shiny swimsuits, and overly developed muscles. Number 10, Alicia Young. At the 10th spot, we introduce you to Alicia Young, she is an American female bodybuilder who won the NPC USA Championship in 2014. Born on November 10, 1984, Young comes from an athletic family. Her father is a retired bodybuilding competitor, her brother plays American football and ice hockey, and her sister plays ice hockey. Alicia is a clear example of how a hobby can transform itself into a real passion. She first trained in softball, cheerleading, basketball, and soccer and by the young age of 15, she began to prepare her body alongside her father. She is married and has a daughter named Olivia. In a post to her personal Instagram profile in August 2018, Young revealed that she had been diagnosed with Bell's palsy, suffering partial face paralysis, but was on the road to recovery. Number 9. Lisa Cross For a moment, her life was a roller coaster. She had eating problems that began while studying for her GCSEs, and by the age of 15, she became anorexic. At the ninth spot, we have Lisa Cross. After a couple of rough years, Lisa began weight training. She first really got into bodybuilding in 2006 while she was living in Japan, a time where she was teaching English. For her, bodybuilding was an activity that she could enjoy alongside her boyfriend. At the time, he was a Japanese bodybuilding champion. Thanks to that, Lisa started to take more interest in the bodybuilding culture, reading of big stars such as Negrita Jade. This led her to train with weights and conditioning her body for competitive entry since 2008. But not everything is shiny swimsuits and fake tans. Lisa speaks four languages. English, due to her time living abroad, she can also speak French, Russian, and Japanese. In 2014, she published her first book, The Devil and Discipline, The Temptation. Number 8. Margie Marvelous At the 8th spot, we have Margaret Margie Marvelous, best known as the first Mrs. Rising Phoenix of the 2015 and the 2016 IFBB Wings of Strength Rising Phoenix World Championships. She is an American professional female bodybuilder, born on February 7, 1979. In the summer of 1992, Martin started weight training for the first time. In high school, the school had a bodybuilding class where she was the only female in the class. 
before winning her first title as Mrs. Rising Phoenix of 2015, Margie had a bumpy path in bodybuilding. People started telling her to do a local bodybuilding show as she didn't know how to diet. She only ate canned tunas and string beans for almost six weeks. Like her father before her, Martin entered the Marine Corps. She placed fifth in her first competition, the Far East Armed Forces Bodybuilding Competition in Okinawa, Japan. Number seven, Hella Trevino. Since she was a little girl, she started showing aptitude for sports, born and raised in Denmark. At the seventh spot, we have Hella Trevino. She was a gymnast from the age of three and competed in various other sports, including ballroom dancing, swimming, track and field, shot put, martial arts, horse riding, boxing, biking, ballet, and yoga. Continuing with her wide range of practice sports, when Trevino was 17, she joined a gym and started training seven days a week. Her effort was so great that she had weighed 128 pounds, 58 kilograms, and within a year of training, she added another additional 29 pounds or 13 kilos. Not all of us have the ease of building bigger muscles, so when Trevino realized that she had great genetics for bodybuilding, she knew that she could take advantage of that opportunity. Trevino continued her way into the fitness industry, where she took several exams within the nutrition and training specialty. A field where she worked as a personal trainer in Venice, California, she became the CEO and founder of the company Team. Number 6. Valentina Shapiga At the sixth spot, we have Valentina Shapiga. She's a professional female bodybuilder with an extensive career of achievements. She began bodybuilding in 1988, and in 1992, she changed careers and became a personal trainer. A couple of years later, Valentina won the European and World Amateur title in 1997 and won her IFBB Pro Card. Her story at Miss Olympia had gone through ups and downs, making her professional debut at the 1998 Miss Olympia contest, finishing in 12th place. At the heavyweight class of Miss Olympia in 2000, no overall winner was named for that show, so she was essentially co-Miss Olympia and lightweight class winner Andrula Blanchet. Years later, after taking a well-deserved break from competition, Topeka returned to the stage at the 2007 Miss Olympia, placing 11th. Valentina now lives in Anchorage, Alaska, where she trains at Alaska Functional Fitness. Number 5. Julia Vins also known as Muscle Barbie, at the fifth spot we have Julia Vins. She's a sensation of social media. She has more than 1 million follows on Instagram, where people follow her day-to-day -day life. Vins is from Saratov, Russia, where she started going to the gym at the age of 15 as she wanted to become more confident in herself and improve her fitness level. When Julia was 12, her parents divorced. She drained all of her energy into education, having the ambition to go to law school and powerlifting. However, her love for exercise was bigger than anything, so she decided to pursue that professionally instead. Traveling an hour on the bus to go to the gym, noticing that she was the only woman there, she continued pursuing her passion, focusing more on improving her mental and physical health as a way to cope with her father's alcoholism. Number 4. Alina Popa Leading Romania to the top, we have Alina Popa at the fourth spot. She ranks as the highest ranked Romanian bodybuilder on the International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness, the IFBB, Pro Women's Bodybuilding Ranking List. Alina Popa is a Romanian-born professional female bodybuilder born October 12, 1978. Popa grew up in Briala, Romania. As a way to lose weight, she competed in track and field at the age of 12. Years later, with experience on track and field, Popa felt inspired for training after she saw a young woman preparing for the National Junior Championship in 1998. She continued with her regimen, where she had been lifting for the next two years, before a trainer suggested that she train competitively. In college, she studied English and Romanian for four years, majoring in the former with a teaching degree. Number 3. Yaxeni Orgena Garcia At the third spot, we have Yaxeni Garcia. She was born September 3, 1966, in Combimas, Zulia, Venezuela. She comes from a very big family. Being the youngest of nine children, it was hard task to have little attention. But she started to have the qualities of standing out when she took interest in entertainment. As a result of that interest, she began a career in theater and modeling at an early age and studied theater while in Venezuela. 
the International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness has a ranking list of pro women's bodybuilders, where she ranks as the second best female bodybuilder worldwide. She did not only win Miss International once, but five times, in 2002, 2003, 2005, 2008, and 2012. In the meanwhile of her victories, she achieved her most noteworthy achievement, the title of Miss Olympia in 2005. In 1989, Oraquin began dedicating herself to the sports of bodybuilding. Her first competition was in 1993, Venezuelan Nationals, where she took first place. Currently, she is the most successful Venezuelan bodybuilder ever, being the only one to win the Miss Olympia title. Get ready for today's top pick. Number 2. Natalia Kuznetsova As a recurring problem, women find it very difficult to increase their muscles. At the second spot, we have Natalia Kuznetsova, who was no exception to this. Natalia Kuznetsova was born July 1, 1991, and is a Russian professional female bodybuilder. Due to the difficulty of growing muscles, she began powerlifting at 14 years old in an attempt to gain muscle mass. Kuznetsova is a woman with extensive range of titles worldwide, such as arm lifting, bench press, and deadlift titles, as well as the European bench press and deadlift titles. When it comes to speaking out, Natalia is not afraid of what people think or say. She speaks openly about her use of anabolic steroids and estrogen blockers, as well as about her bisexuality. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that will take just 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell and you get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. Number 1. Iris Kyle At the first spot, we have the most successful professional bodybuilder. Iris Kyle was born August 22, 1974 in Benton Harbor, Michigan. She was the fifth of six children. Probably, Kyle represents much of us. When she moved to Orange County, California, she felt overwhelmed by the sight of fit and healthy looking people. Because of that, she thought she could obtain a similar, highly trained, sculpted physique. But not everything is as happy as it seems. Iris began to distance herself from her friends, family, and became very isolated, stating that she found this the best way to make gains. She had a series of high placings as professional. Currently, she is the most successful male or female professional bodybuilder ever. Her most noteworthy achievements are the titles of Miss Olympia in 2001, 2004, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, and 2014. Yes, the 20s are Kyle's lucky year. Bodybuilding is a discipline without barriers of age, and that's why Iris announced that she will be competing at the 2020 Miss Olympia. Sure, these women may have taken bodybuilding a little too far, and they became a lot stronger than anyone ever expected. Many people would judge it because of the way they look, yet we believe we're all free to pursue our dreams the way we wish. Haters are gonna hate anyone. Anyway. What do you think? Thank you so much for watching today's video, we hope that you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe. My name's Donovan, see you next time.